Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I've got my Traxxas Slash 4v4 Ultimate Basher build out with me. As you can see, I'm running my Baja Bug Body. I'm also running the tires that originally came off my Stampede two-wheel drive. So these right here are 2.8 inch tires. I wanted to run paddles, but uh, the plan today is to jump her down the hillside. Now, I've already run two machines previously today, and so far it's gone pretty poorly. The road is so iced over that I couldn't get any traction to build up enough speed to jump down the hillside. So I've actually got my ramp set up right behind that snow pile. The plan is to jump her down the hillside. If that doesn't work, we're just gonna bash her in the snow. So maybe I should have put the 2.8 inch paddles on, but nonetheless, I wanna see how these work with the 2.8 inch stampede tires. Don't really like the way they look on here. Not a big fan of those chrome wheels, but um, I'm hopeful that they'll add some cushioning for, if we do actually get around to jumping, I should say. I'm interested to see how well cushioned these are gonna be. It should help with the cushioning. Now, if you're not familiar with this whole build series, the Ultimate Basher build, first off, I'll leave a card in the corner. Feel free to check it out. But uh, this basically started off as a high center gravity slash 4x4 model, a VXL model. And uh, I just made a ton of changes to it. Alrighty, I'm gonna try to keep my shadow out of the shot. So like I said, started off as a VXL high center gravity model. I put the low center gravity conversion kit on from Traxxas. It's got the GTR shocks that come off the slash 4x4 Ultimate as well as the Platinum. Uh, we've got RPM suspension arms, RPM front and rear bumpers. Uh, RPM shock towers. Actually, this one's RPM. That one, the RPM, one of the uh, holes ripped out, so I put the stock one back on. We've got the Proline body mount system. For power system, I'm actually running the system that comes out of the 1A scale Redcat Kaiju. That is Redcat's 1A scale 6S capable monster truck. It's a 150 amp rebranded Hobbywing ESC. It originally had two Dean's connectors, snipped it down to two leads, soldered on an XT90. That's combined with a 42 68 2100 kV motor. I am running a 16 tooth pinion and a 54 tooth spur gear. Uh, it's also got the Traxxas Haas center diff, uh, Traxxas aluminum motor mount. Uh, it's got some uh, steel, hardened steel drive shafts from eBay. Uh, it's also recently I put on some Power Hobby blue anodized uh, rear hub carriers. So a lot of goodies on this thing. Also Techno big bone center drive shaft. So a lot of goodies. But uh, today we're just out to bash her in the snow with the uh, 2.8s and see how it does. Uh, and decided to run the Summit Link Baja Bug Body, which if you're not familiar with this Baja Bug Body, I'll leave it linked down below. Now those are affiliate links, which means basically I receive a very small commission if you purchase through those links. But that is an excellent way to show your support of the channel because this hobby has proven to be very, very expensive. And it's hard to make good content without more money for upgrades. But uh, they only come in, I think they've raised the price up a little bit. They used to be 30 bucks. They come in around 35 bucks for these bodies. All of them come, most of them I should say, come with the splash design. I like the blue and the black. They have like a monster energy type green and black one. I think they got a orange and black, pink and black. I know they have a clear body and an American flag theme one as well. So just go ahead, check out those links down below. These will fit perfectly up with a four wheel drive or a two wheel drive slash and the holes are already drilled. So all you have to do is peel off the, uh, uh, peel off the outside um, um, protective coating and uh, you can apply the decals. So the window decals, the headlight decals fell off on me, but pretty nice body. I reinforced it with Gorilla Tape. It's held up pretty well, but uh, this is the four cell pack we're gonna be running right here. It is a 6,500 milliamp ADC discharge rate four cell Avonic pack. Uh, so let me get it installed. Now I am gonna apologize in advance. My mic broke in the last video and uh, currently funds are pretty low for me right now. So I don't have the funding to go buy a new mic. So just bear with me. You might hear some wind noise. I do apologize, but let me get that battery thrown in and we'll get started ripping. Alrighty guys, got her all powered up. So time to rock and roll, here we go. Like I was saying, the road is pretty slick. So we'll see with four wheel drive and on these tires, if we can uh, get a bit of a run up from over there in the parking lot and hit my ramps I have leaned up against this uh, snowbank. Let's see if we can do this. See how slick it is, it's all ice. 
just complete ice. All right, we'll start off easy. Let's try to line her up. All right, didn't land it. Can we make her back up the hill? This hill is so slick because so many kids sled down it. Oh yeah, four wheel drive slash no problemo. All right, let's try that again. Take her down to right about there. Uh, I missed the ramp altogether, but you know what? I still hit the snowbank and we got a little bit of air. Decent amount of air, actually. Oh, I missed the ramp Bring us some speed back up the hill. Spinning out. So slick. We're losing momentum. I think. Let's. Can we do it? Yes. So the last machine I had out was, uh, well, was my E Revo. That did not have the traction to do to make it up the hillside. Also did not have any traction on the ice. This is doing a lot better, but still we're getting slowed down significantly. But let's try it again. Nice, give that a thumbs up. I actually landed it. Nice. Pretty good amount of air too. Back up the hill. I am pinned. Look at that thing just work. But there's more cars coming, so we're done with the jumping. We're just gonna go down and bash her in the snow. All right, here we go for a launch in the snow. Are you guys ready? Get set, go! Uh, it's not staying on top of the surface. Kick start. Keep the power down, it might not sink. There's a slight layer of ice on that snow. This, this uh, hillside is so slick because so many kids come here and sled down it. So it's just ice. Fly by. Get a little bit of speed. tires are ballooning a lot this is by far the best machine I could have brought not maybe not the best machine I could have brought with me but it's doing a lot better than the other two machines I brought out here which you will see in uh, different videos right into that Yeah, I'm trying to steer full lock to the right and it will not steer. It's plowing through though. It's doing extremely well on these tires. Pinned, it's probably getting up to 20, 25 mile an hour down that hill. It's getting slowed down a little bit. She's, she's trying to dig. She's really getting slowed down. And stuck. Gotta go get it. Yeah, today's video hasn't really gone according to plan. I, I thought the road would have been a little bit better cleared off than it is. The road's not clear at all. How has this battery not died yet? Come on, baby, dig and claw, dig and claw. No.
And stuck again. And there, she just hit low voltage mode. That battery actually lasted quite a while. It was a 6,500 milliamp pack. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Things didn't go according to plan, but as most of the time, it just, it doesn't go as planned. But don't worry, we'll get back out here when the pavement's clear. We'll send her down the hillside. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.